presented by the children of Our Lady Homeschool Co-op Drama Group. Our play begins in the city of Bratislava in Czechoslovakia in the year 1949. Czechoslovakia was a new country formed after World War I when the Austro-Hungarian Empire was defeated and broken up. In the year 1945, toward the end of World War II, the Russians entered the country as the Nazis withdrew. Soon, the Catholic country of Czechoslovakia came under the control of the Communist Party and of Russia. The Communists took away private property, freedom of speech, and religious freedom, and sought to control every aspect of life. Many courageous Catholic heroes stood up, stood up to oppose the great evil of communism in many communist countries, such as Russia, China, Vietnam, and Cuba. Now you will meet one of these heroes. This is the true story of the deliverance of Sister Cecilia. Excuse me, but we have a lot of work to attend to today. Will you please allow me to proceed? The 
most important lesson for the students is to learn to obey the fatherland and to become useful workers for the revolution and the good of the country. This song will inculcate the proper ideals. Children, you will try singing with me. We are the Communist Party. We like the songs about Jesus and Mary much better. What? There is something terribly wrong here. And right there is part of the problem. Comrade teacher, why is that object still hanging on the wall? Which object do you mean? You know which object. That object. We have been told repeatedly to remove that object from the wall. Here, here's order number 7623B from the Bureau of State Education. Take it, take it down now. I will not take it down. My patience is at an end with you. That thing is an anti-communist emblem. The children must see you, their teacher, remove it. Take it down now or there will be consequences. I will not, I will never take the crucifix down. Never. Get out of my way. to be a good 
good influence on them. This is a very small change we are asking of you. Now that's not too much to ask, is it? It seems that it is. You have already asked for a small compromise by the removal of religious pictures in my classroom. First, it was removed only one, then another, and then another. Now, they have all been removed. You want to use us, sisters, in order to take advantage of the trust that the children have in us, to teach them the political, the communist propaganda that they will not accept in the likes of your inspector, Isola. Comrade, sister, I am patient. I will give you one week to make up your mind. Sister, I think you will be willing to do this for the children's sake when you have thought it over. I don't need it. I will never take your political course, and I won't wear your uniform. I will practice what I know to be true as a Catholic sister. There is no need to take up any more of your time. Good day. <laughs> ah, comrade, you exhibit a most terrible attitude. <coughs> You'll soon learn. The government is not going to let you keep your religion or your God. You will live in fear of us. Comrade, sister, you are so predictable. I knew you wouldn't listen to reason. I already have a letter of termination here informing that you no longer meet the requirements necessary to teach. In fact, you are forbidden to teach in any Czechoslovakian school from now on. I just have to sign it. There. Children's Hospital will be taking the patients' temperatures and blood pressures, administering medication, and seeing that the doctor's orders are carried out. It will be a big change from your duties as a teacher, though I think you will be happy to still be working with the children. Do you have any questions? Is the hospital still a Catholic institution? Oh dear sister, I don't know how to answer that. It has been a Catholic hospital for over 278 years. But now, all hospitals are under government regulation. Did the government tell you to take down the crucifixes and religious artwork? Yes, it is sad, though we felt we must comply so that we could continue to take care of the sick children. But mother, the, the government needs the sisters as nursing staff. Certainly the communists wouldn't shut down the hospital if that you kept the crucifixes on the walls. We fear they would. Consider how they treated you in the school. So many teaching nuns, they also need the sisters as teachers. But look what they did. So many teaching nuns have been taken to work camps to dig potatoes. What a waste of their skill as teachers. We can't take a chance when the lives of sick people are at stake. We need our nursing staff here with the sick children. Sister, don't rock the boat. But mother. Sister, don't draw attention to yourself. Keep in mind that there's plenty of good work that you can do here. Do you understand me? Yes, Mother. Hmm. I pray that you do. What is this world coming to? Oh, right, if you don't know things like that. 
Minister? The government told me that the penalty for teaching religion is prison or death. Do you children really want me to teach you catechism? Yes, Sister! You children are amazing. Yes, Sister. But what about your parents? They allow us to come here and ask you. They take a great risk. The communists want all the children to be atheists. To oppose them could mean arrest, prison, or worse. Our parents are the danger, but we all want to risk it. Forcing us into work camps, torturing innocent people, 
killing them. I can't. Everyone is afraid to speak out. I must escape now. Everyone, so I'm begging you to find someone to smuggle me across the river into Austria right away. But Father, I don't know any smugglers. How am I supposed to find somebody willing to smuggle a priest? You must be in touch with the Czechoslovakian Freedom Underground. Sister, I know how devoted you are to St. Joseph. Let's pray to him and ask him to find a way. Father, I can see how desperately you need my help. So I will see what I can do. For now, it is certainly not safe for you to hide here. The authorities come here all the time to check up on us. Can you find some place to stay for the night? I will look around and see what I can find out. Well, I guess I can't sleep under a bridge tonight. God willing, I will be back tomorrow.
But to her surprise, Sister Cecilia found herself called upon to help more and more people escape. As her fame for arranging to smuggle Father Matij out of the country spread through the freedom-loving Czechoslovakian underground, soon, several times a week, priests and seminarians would approach Sister and ask for her help. Somehow, thanks to Saint Joseph, she always found a way to hide them and to pay for their escape. Eventually, others became aware of this work of hers also.
you come because of this dog, we have plenty of warning. Not only does get dog keep him away from the door, but before they can enter the gate, one of us must go out. Slowly, we are old, of course, and eventually lock him in the kitchen where he growls the entire time the police are present. But if the police do come, what should I do? Oh, sister, don't worry. We are ready. Behind the bedroom wall is a small space for you to hide. The doorway is very well hidden by a car. Whenever you hear Gaston bark ferociously, you must rush to the hiding place. You see, Gaston doesn't bark to the neighbors whom he knows. He only barks when strangers or the communists come by. Uh, we have hidden other people here already. We do know Father Montes. He was hiding here not long ago. Such a good priest, even though Gaston did bark to him as well. Father Montes did not secretly for us in our home. What a blessing that was. Oh, yes. But Sister Cecilia, come this way. I'll show you your bedroom and the hiding spot, and then we'll have a nice breakfast. Would you like to help us can some peaches after breakfast? Certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the blockade of Berlin was lifted. The battle of diplomacy was overshadowed by the drama of the aerial convoys that day after day winged their way into Berlin. The longer the blockade continued, the more the people of Germany looked toward the West to strengthen them in their determination to remain free. The city celebrated the event with an awareness of its solidarity with the democratic nation. Berlin became a symbol. Thank you. 
her way to the station for questioning. He said that if she told everything she knew, she would be back soon. Sister, she will never tell. No, Joe will never tell. You may be sure of that. Then that means, oh, if it hadn't been for me, good God in heaven, how much sorrow must we bear? Don't cry. She would take a little doing God's work. Well, there's more glory than that. Remember that though she's old, Joe is completely dedicated to the cause of freedom. The last thing she said on the way out the door was take the cat to the vet. But you don't have a cat. Well, perhaps her mind was a little upset. Her mind is as sharp as a tack. She meant you. She meant that you must go on to the safe house. We will walk with you as far as our cousin Yenge's house, and she will send you on to the next safe house. Come, sister. We'll all go. Right now. Let's pray with you. It has been handed down to us over generations. 
My father told me that my family has been plowing this land for over 500 years. If they try to take my land, it would be like digging my heart out from my chest and taking it. Now, Ludo, can you do that sister needs some rest? Come with me, sister, and I will show you where you can sleep. And then we can talk some more tomorrow. Good night.
promise us that you would do exactly as we told you.
That is not enough. Where's the rest of it? How long will it take to cross? Have you lived around here a whole while? Him of his passage into Egypt and asking for help. 
And in answer to her prayers, a thick fog came up and hid the moon. In the darkness and fog, the entire group was able to make it across the dike and then was ferried on a rubber raft across the river. They all made it safely to the other side, to Austria, a free country. Sister Cecilia then made her way to the order, to the nearest order of her convent, the Daughters of the Most Holy Savior, which was in Germany.
they happen. So can we start with um, Moira? Moira! Thank you all for coming. Until next time.